Hey, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered if you could possibly sell some of your video content or blog content on your Squarespace website without having to jump through the hoops of having to have courses or memberships as an added on product that you're paying for in your subscription? Something plain and simple and easy for you and your potential customers? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before we get to that, if we haven't met yet, my name is Meg. I am the founder of Floating Lotus Design. I'm a Squarespace web designer and an unabashed tech nerd. And I am here to help you elevate your business and your website without the tech overwhelm. Let's talk about paywalls. Squarespace has added the ability for you to set up a paywall on your blog collections or your video collections. And this is really nice because it's a very simplified way for you to be able to offer content to special customers, maybe folks that are on your email list or special memberships or things like that, where you just want to have content behind a paywall for those folks only. And you can also still have content that's free. The Squarespace has now made it really easy for you to be able to put some of your blogs or video collections behind a paywall. So you can offer certain uh, content to paying customers only and without having to set up memberships, courses, you know, extra products that cost you money. And I'm really excited to show you exactly how to do that today. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is how you want to structure this content in your website and if you're going to want to have free and paid content available, because as you'll see as we dive into this, once you set up a paywall on a collection page, I, either a blog or a video, it covers that entire collection. So if you want to have free stuff, you'll need to have that in a separate collection page. But you'll get the gist of it as I dive into it and, and show you the ropes. So for the purposes of this video, I am, I'm combining how to set up a paywall for both a blog and a video collection because they're the same process. So let's head over to my demo site and I will show you how to do it. All right, so let's go over how to set up a paywall for either your video collection or your blog. The same process and principle applies to both. So I'm gonna do video first, and then I'll just quickly show you blog. So to set this up, you're gonna go into whichever collection it is that you want to put behind a paywall. So something to keep in mind is that it will apply to the entire collection page, so video collection page or blog collection page. So you can't necessarily kind of pick and choose this video is free, but this video is paid. If you put your video collection behind a paywall, whatever you put behind that paywall, you have to pay for. So just something to think about as you're setting things up. So if you want to have, say, a, col a certain collection of, of videos that are free to access for certain people, you would want to set up a separate free video collection page and then a paywall video collection page. I hope that makes sense. But this demonstration, we're just going to assume that we want to put all of these videos behind a paywall. So to start, once you've gone into your video collection page, you will see the option to monetize your video collection. So you just want to click that and it'll prompt you to create a pricing plan. So you click that. We kind of have this default set up and it's pretty straightforward, but let's say you can adjust it here. So let's, let's say like, say intro to yoga membership videos. Okay. And then you just have the description of what you want in here. And then down here, you have the option if you want to list additional benefits, any information that you would want to add here and you can add another one and those show up here so it's it's nice visually and also calls out anything really special that you want people to know that they're getting by signing up so once you have that information here you'll go down to pricing and we have some options so as i mentioned before if you have a collection that you want to keep free you could set that collection to free or you can set up a subscription or a fixed amount now the key thing here is you can't pick and choose, you have to select one. So if you want a fixed pricing amount, you can have it spread across a number of payments. And so for example, if we did six payments of $15, so it's $15 for six months, 
that populates here. What this means is, is after those six months are up, this person has paid their $15 each month. They then will have forever access to the videos. They've paid for the full amount. You can do it for one payment. You can do it for 12 payments. But the thing to keep in mind for the fixed amount is that once they've paid that, they have access to everything. Now, you just notice here that you have the ability to add a payment option. So for example, let's say it's one payment of $100, right? So they can pay it once for $100, or they can do two payments of $50 over two months. And you'll notice that that changes up here. So they have one payment, $50 over two months. So that's a way you can set up kind of a, a payment plan. Now, if you don't want to do fixed amount, you can move down to a subscription. When you su select a subscription, you're going to do the same thing. You can say, I'm going to do this for $15, and it's going to repeat every month. Or you can also do an annual payment. So maybe you say for $500, you can do that for a year. So you'll notice you can select how many times that repeats. You can choose weekly, monthly, or annually, and you'll notice that reflected here and how that's going to look. So people can select what they want to do. If you select one, it will repeat every month. If you were to select six, it's going to go every six months. So that would be a semi-annual. If you want somebody to have a quarterly option, you'd pick every three months. So you kind of get the idea of how this selection works. This is a fairly popular one, so we'll leave that here for now. And free is free. Now, you also have the ability to include other products. So if you have any other digital products that you may want to sell in this pricing plan, you have the ability to do that here. And you do have sign-up limits. So you can say you can only sign up for this during certain dates. If you're doing something special or creating a special video promotion or something like that, or a special workshop that you only want to have available to people to be able to sign up for a certain time. So you have that available as well. So that's it. Pretty simple. Once you have this all set up the way that you want, you click create. And that'll bring you back to this main plane. You can edit it if you need to, to change it, or you can delete it. Now, you're not done yet. You got to think about the experience of your potential members when they come to your video collection. So now that we've set this up, we have this paywall, and this is a page. And so this is what your folks will see when they click on your page, and you can adjust this a little bit here. So let's say, like, welcome to the intro... yoga video library. And then in here, you can say this page is only available to members. You can add in whatever you want. So you sign up or log in. Log in below. Can't type today. And then below that, you will see a pricing plan that we just created. So you can, over here, you can edit that, and it'll take you right back into the plan to edit directly from there, or you can hide the pricing plan. So you have the option to kind of just hide that, so then it would just be a login area. You know, I think if you're trying to drive people to sign up or login, leaving it visible is probably the easiest thing to do. Now you have the choice down here to choose video player only, video detail pages, or all content. And this means where would this paywall show up? So when somebody clicks on your video library, what do you want them to see? So they'll see this if it's on just the video itself. This will be on the detail pages. So customers will see a paywall on the video detail page. So if they click a video, that detail is going to show up. Or on all content. All content means as soon as they click on your overview page, it's going to have a paywall. So kind of really recommend that you go with video player only 
again, they do recommend this as well. So folks can see the information, your thumbnail of your video, the, the description of it and stuff like that. But as soon as they try to click play, this paywall will come up and prompt them to sign up or log in. So once you have this set up the way you want, you click save. You can go back and you'll be all set. Now, one last thing to keep in mind. Let's say, for example, you want a few videos from your collection for folks to be able to have a preview so that they can get a sense of what your videos are like or what your classes are like before they sign up and, and pay. To do that, we will go into all videos here and on your settings, you'll say set as public preview. And what will happen on any of these that have a preview is that they will have this pop up and they'll be able to click that and get a preview of that video. So this is a good practice if you want people to see if it's the right fit for them before they buy. Personally, I think that's a great idea. If folks come to something that's like, oh, I'm interested, but I'm not sure if I want to make a payment yet or, or sign up, give them a little taste if you haven't done that through other means. Now, the same goes for putting your blog behind a paywall. So I'm coming down all my collections pages. Once you have set up a paywall, you'll also notice here in your menu under next to your page, you're going to see that little lock and it'll say paywalled. Okay. You know, it's my blog. I have not set up a paywall for my blog, so it does not have that. So if I set a blog, you would go through exactly the same process that we went through with the videos. So you get all the details. What do you want to call this? Give them a description, add or delete any types of benefits or special information you want them to know about, set up how you want to price it, and create and go from there. Again, I would keep in mind, let's say you might want to have your public-facing blog that's free and clear for everybody, and then you may want to add a separate blog collection that would be behind a paywall for paying members. And maybe in your regular blog, you prompt them, hey, if you like this content and you want to get even more advanced or more detailed stuff, you can sign up for my paid blog offering and offer paid content that way. So just remember to think about what content you want to be paid versus free so you structure them and have them in the right places. But pretty straightforward, fairly simple. You know, it's, it's no frills. You don't get a lot of design flexibility here in terms of, you know, how it all looks but it's effective and it's pretty simple for you to set up if you need it. Always keep in mind, anytime you want to set up anything that's going to take payment in through the Squarespace interface, make sure that you have selected a payment processor and connected that to your account at Stripe or PayPal or even Squarespace payments. Make sure you have connected that and that, that connection is working before you set up any paid products here on your site. All right. So that was a little bit longer and in-depth tutorial for you, but I hope that you found that helpful if you have been thinking about ways to be able to monetize some of your content with the least complicated way possible in Squarespace. So let me know if you think you're going to give this a try or if you have any questions, you can drop me a comment below. And if you're interested in getting more content like this and learning what's going on behind the scenes at Floating Lotus Design, the other things that I provide, tips, tricks, and look behind the world of web design and solopreneurship, check out the link in my description to sign up for my email list. I'd love to have you. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.